You love Canva, we love Canva. So in this tutorial, we're gonna show you how to send virtual and physical gifts using Canva by digitally wrapping these gifts in one of Canva's e-greeting cards. Hey, it's Tom from Creator Cards here. And on this channel, we show you how to create and send event invitations, event websites, collect RSVPs online, and even send e-cards with gifts. Essentially, many ways to plan your events with Canva and Creator Cards. We want to help you get more out of Canva, so be sure to subscribe and like this channel. So in this video, I'm going to cover creating a greeting card with a message page in Canva, publishing it from Canva to Creator Cards, and then digitally wrapping a physical or virtual GIF and sending it out using WhatsApp or iMessage. So why send a GIF like this? Well, it's going to be a super personalized way to send a digital GIF. It's gonna reduce all that crazy amount of gift wrapping paper. It's a great last minute gift, and it's great for long distance gifting. And it'll also save you when you've missed that shipping cutoff date for Christmas. So let's get into it. All right, so over in canva.com, we're gonna to wanna to search for a suitable greeting. So I'm gonna actually type Christmas uh, Instagram. That's because I actually want kind of like a vertical card because that's going to look much nicer on mobile. So you don't have to always go with the other templates like the Christmas greeting cards or greeting cards. You can search other styles and there's heaps of templates. Um, I'm also going to narrow that down to portrait. So it's going to be good on mobile and not too big. So I'm going to choose a simple one like this. And the front page is already pretty cool but we want to add a message page so I'm just going to duplicate page here and then remove things that we're not going to need because we're going to want to fit a message here so that's given a bit of room and we can keep the same style text so I'm just going to paste in a message that I've already written okay so here it is I'll tidy it up so we've got our uh, message page and we've got our front cover to our card. And what we want to do now is publish from Canva to Creator Cards. So we're going to go to the share menu. We're going to go more. And then we're going to type Creator Cards. And there, it's already, popped, um, it's already popped up. So let's click on that. And so Creator Cards lets you publish your designs as digital invites or e-cards. So that sounds cool. That's what we want to do. Click use, and now we can select any two pages from the design that we have here and click save. Now what this is doing is it's publishing your design as an image over to Creator Cards. There we go. Okay, so Canva is finished doing that. And now you've got these options so you can continue editing, you go to your homepage, but you can also view in Creator Cards and that's what we want to do. So we're going to click this link and it's going to open our design in a landing page on Creator Cards. And it kind of shows us a preview of what it's going to look like. So we're going to get a kind of web page with the card that you've made there, a background image or wallpaper that we can change, and a button that we can attach a gift to if we want. So when you arrive here, you're not going to have an account. So you'll be able to click a button here, this button, it's going to ask you to create an account first, but I'm already logged in, so I'm just going to click that. It's going to ask you to name the design. So let's do Merry, oh sorry, Merry Christmas Jane. Okay, so you land on this event creation page, but even though Creator Cards can handle invitations and collecting RSVPs, we're gonna make it a greeting card. So we're gonna click right in this greeting card option. And now you can see the designs from Canva and you can always go back into Canva by clicking the edit button and that's gonna open it back up here. Uh, you can always republish if you make any changes and that will all update over here. Okay, so what I like to do is click the preview button, then open in a new tab. Now the reason for that is because you get a really good view 
of what your e-card is going to look like. Okay, so I have the windows set up the way I like it. And now what we're going to do is show you how you can add a gift to your greeting card. Now, what we can do is add a virtual representation of the gift. So, for example, if you're planning on just taking your friend out to dinner, you would click on that little icon. And when they get the card and they click this button, they're going to get a little animation like this. So this is a way of giving a gift digitally. But you can also do it with real gifts. So imagine we buy a gift on Amazon and then send it in the post to them. Well, we can send them this card with a kind of surprise or a hint about what the gift is with uh, before it arrives in the post. So that's pretty cool. And we could even add the tracking URL if we want. And now we can also change the little text which is going to, to display. So in this case, I'm going to select, um, yeah, I'm going to select one of these little gift boxes here. And it comes up with this text, a little something is on its way. Well, I'll leave this, but I could edit it if I want. And then what you can do is go out and buy your gift. So we have, uh, you know, links here to Amazon, um, links to where you can buy flowers. And I want to point out one, uh, one of our partners here, which is Tingly.com. So Tingly is really cool. It lets you give it stories and not stuff. So your recipient will get to choose from a huge range of adventures and experiences. And you can send this as a gift box or just via email digitally. And these type of experiences are available in the USA and 142 other countries. So if you're curious about Tingly, click the link in the video description and you can have a look at that. Okay, so you've done your e-card and your gifting. Let's move on and make the web page look beautiful and more personalized in your style. So you click next. And here we can see again the preview of the website. And what we can do, the first thing we're going to want to do is change the background. So let's search pixels for something that is suitable around Christmas. So let's see what we have. Um, okay. Well, let's go for something that's going to give us a lot of contrast. So let's go with this one. Cool. So there it changes. And what we're also going to want to do is change the tech, uh, the banner color and make it, well, I like, what I like to do is make it match the e-card um, color there. So probably the best way to do that is to pop back over to your design in Canva and just check what that background color is. So it's C2281B. I'm going back into the tab over here, we can change the branding and change the button and banner color to that number 2281B. Select. Okay, cool. So now this makes much more of a nice match to the card. And if you don't want the creator card's logo to display here, we can switch off the logo and replace it with banner text. So in this case, I'm just going to replace it with Merry Christmas Jane. And you can even add some emojis there. So that's going to look nice. And it's auto saving. So you can see that's updated over here. And there's a possibility to add some effects, but I'm not going to do that today. And you can kind of get a preview of what it's going to be like in mobile on a desktop uh, when your recipient views that. Uh, but I also like to always keep it open in the tab here um, because it gives you a really cool, big um, view of what it's going to look like. Uh, so they're going to click on that and then it's going to say a little something's on its way. So that's how you're really attaching a gift there. So next, let's go and send this. So the way in which you can send the cards in Creator Cards is that you can share this web page as a link. And you're probably going to want to do that on your phone. So we put a really convenient option here, which is send to phone. And what you can do with that 
is use your phone to scan this QR code and that's going to bring you to this exact same page on your phone. So let's just go about and do that now. Cool. So now that you've got this on your phone, uh, the page looks a little bit different on your phone because of the format of the mobile. So you can press share and then you can press share again and it's going to open up your phone's share menu. And I'm going to select the message option here and you can see that it pops up with a beautiful link preview and this is going to be how your recipient sees this when you text them. So that's really, really awesome, especially on iPhone, but it works just as well on WhatsApp and any other chat app. So you can now send gifts using Canva with your beautiful e-cards. So why don't you go to Canva and give it a go? But if collecting RSVPs for your events or invites is more what you want to do, we're going to have tutorials about that soon. Now there is an old tutorial that's linked in the video description below. So if you have any questions about anything I've been mentioning in the video, feel free to leave a comment. So thank you guys and see you in the next one.